We're very proud of the fact that the Jefferson County Teachers Association mission uh, states that we're not just uh, a member advocacy organization for our students and our members, but we're actually a civil rights organization. I'm not an educator, but um, you know I, what I know of JCTA is that they're incredibly committed to diversity and to equity and um, equal access. All right, we want to welcome you all to the diversity training. My diversity name is training is very important to us, and we've seen some remarkable work that the Teachers Association here in Jefferson County has done in that area. So the more teachers can uh, know and have a deep understanding of diversity and different backgrounds really can affect student achievement. JCTA's leadership in uh, looking at this community and seeing the needs um, uh, among the community and the needs for compassion uh, in, in staff has, I think, helped to drive this. It's appropriate to use the word gay if we're talking um, about someone who is gay, if we're using it just to just to talk about who they are. Last night, uh, the HCR committee co-sponsored with the uh, Fairness Campaign a discussion to talk about issues of fairness. Uh, and that was a very successful event. And we are here today to bring you the training from NEA, the Women's Leadership Training. The HCR committee has had an opportunity uh, for NEA to come in and put on uh, the NEA Women's Leadership Training. Our members will build on what they learned in that training, both as they take it back into their classroom and hopefully, ideally, uh, as they'll pursue opportunities to become active in the association. The annual Martin Luther King Dinner certainly puts in context uh, those efforts that are being put forth in Jefferson County to foster a, a more civil and humane society here. It goes all the way back uh, to the early 70s when we were the first and only real citywide celebration of Dr. King. I have this drive and passion and I want to learn how to be a leader. It's shocking to me to hear one out of two students potentially are going to commit suicide as a result of not being accepted and being bullied. JCTA is a model, as far as I'm concerned, of what a teacher's union should be. Because under the banner of education, is more than just educating students. It's educating a community of what the issues are and what the opportunities are that, that are important. Jefferson County, Kentucky has been an emotionally charged background of segregation that continues to impact that committed community. The Jefferson County Teachers Association, JCTA, has become a positive factor around human and civil rights, which they see as their core mission. JCTA's leaders thought it important that the association revitalize a human and civil rights committee. And under the leadership of Candace Foster, chair of the committee, they have done just that. Their work has made a tremendous difference for their members for the students they serve and for the community at large. Here to accept the 2012 Rosanna J. Willis Memorial Award on behalf of the members of the Jefferson County Teachers Association is President Brent McKim. It's truly an honor to accept this award on behalf of the Jefferson County Teachers Association. We're extremely proud of our diversity training cadre and our JCTA Human and Civil Rights Committee, and I would like them to stand now and be recognized. I would also like to thank Rocio Inclon and all of the amazing NEA human and civil rights staff for finding a way to come to our local and train our cadre. I would also like to thank my fellow local president, 
Kevin Teeley, for helping us with our training and nominating JCTA for this recognition. On behalf of our 5,700 members in Louisville, Kentucky, thank you for this amazing honor. <laughs>